With a new $30 million stadium and state-of-the-art facilities building, it's easy to see why Marshall University was chosen to host the national championship. But facilities were only part of the reason. Without the efforts of a dedicated group of community leaders, a group known as the Huntington Sports Committee, the game might very well have stayed in Statesboro, Georgia. One of those leaders is Parker Ward, who sells houses for a living. It was Huntington, though, that he sold to the NCAA, and he's still working hard to prove they made the right decision. To be a part of it like we were last year was outstanding. Uh, to have it in your own backyard, we feel that we're going to you know, take the time and make the preparations to make sure that this is a successful championship game, one that the NCAA can be very proud of, and when they go to market this over the next few years, we want them thinking about Huntington first. Already, more than 14,000 tickets have been sold to the championship game. If the Herd makes it to the finals, you can easily expect more than twice that number of people to fill these stands. And even if Marshall doesn't make it, Huntington will still be sizzling with a championship flavor. Here at the popular downtown eatery Chili Willie's Mexican Cantina, owner Ron Smith serves up big helpings of hometown pride in between orders of fajitas and tostadas. Not only did he help to land the game, but he's also been planning special events to go along with it, like a food tasting sponsored by area restaurants. One of the things that was one of the intangibles when we were trying to, to sell this to the community that we wanted this is that we wanted to put our best foot forward for the nation as they uh, came to town here for, for the championship game. And if you look around in downtown Huntington, you see people, you know, painting, sprucing up their buildings, remodeling work is going on. And these are one of the things that will remain after the game is gone. So I think everybody's starting to get the excitement. Smith and Ward obviously take pride in the Tri-State. And come December, they plan to show the nation why they're so proud. We have a lot of activities planned around the West Virginia Bell and the Civic Center concert Friday night and then the championship activities on Saturday. Uh, we will be getting the visitors, the VIPs around and showing them the museum, the glass factories and the different areas. And they'll be coming in from different areas of the country so they'll be able to uh, take a little bit of West Virginia back with them. Ward and Smith say the goal of their committee is to create a bowl-like atmosphere, and from their enthusiasm, you can expect the Thunder Bowl to be a big success. In Huntington, Doug Shields, TV 13 Action News.